नमस्कार आप सभी का स्वागत है मैं हूं राहुल और आप देख रहे हैं पीएमई विद्या चैनल और एनसीईआरटी का ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल हम लेकर हाजिर है आज क्लास टेंथ का सोशल साइंस का लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन लेकर आप भी हमारे इस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन का हिस्सा बने हमारे साथ एक्सपर्ट हैं जो आपके जो क्वेश्चन है जो आपकी क्वेरीज है जो आपकी जिज्ञासा है उसका उत्तर देने का प्रयास करेंगे आज सोशल साइंस का जब सब्जेक्ट आता है और क्लास टेंथ जब आ, आ जाती है तो जो विषय होते हैं वो बहुत ही ज्यादा संवेदनशील होते हैं और बहुत ही ज्यादा प्रभावशाली होते हैं ऐसा ही एक विषय आज आप पढ़ने जा रहे हैं हमारे इस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन में जिसका नाम है टॉपिक है नेशनलिज्म इन इंडिया और नेशनलिज्म की जब बात आती है तो सर्वोपरि हमारा तिरंगा दिखाई देता है जैसे कि आजकल हम आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव मना रहे हैं और जब हम अपने तिरंगे की बात करते हैं तो वो हमेशा से हम सब की पहली पसंद रहा है और वो भी क्यों ना वो हमारे जीवन का एक अभिन्न अंग जो है तो आइए आज सोशल साइंस का हम अपना ये जो लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन है इसको विशेष बनाने का प्रयास करते हैं नेशनलिज्म इन इंडिया वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वी हैव आर एक्सपर्ट मिस अंजलि रॉय शी इज कनेक्टेड विद ऑनलाइन हेलो अंजलि जी नमस्कार एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम नमस्कार अंजलि जी पीजीटी हिस्ट्री है और आज आ, हिस्ट्री से जुड़ा हुआ ही एक आ, ये टॉपिक लेकर आई हैं अंजलि जी आपका एक बार पुनः स्वागत है और मैं आपसे गुजारिश करूंगा कि आप बताएं कि आज नेशनलिज्म इन इंडिया जो चैप्टर क्लास टेंथ में आज आप पढ़ाने जा रही हैं इसकी विशेषता क्या है और हमारा लकीली ये जो सेशन है ये आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव के पर्व के दौरान पढ़ा है तो मुझे लग रहा है इसको कैसे विशेष बनाया जाएगा आज एब्सोल्यूटली it is a great learning opportunity for the students to learn about our national movement now we are going to focus on the gandhian phase but before i begin uh, it is important to understand that the terms nationalism liberty equality ye aake aaye kahan se they have come to us from the french revolution hmm. you have already learned about the french revolution in class 9 mm-hmm. and you have also seen its effects in fact in class 9 book it is also given the effects are also given for india now it not only led to the decline of monarchies around the world mm-hmm. but ideas like liberty equality nationalism and patriotism led to national movements wherever there were colonies so you find that the entire process ended with the end of colonialism and imperialism Hmm. Now to understand uh, the uh, the nature of the na- non-cooperation movement, because my focus is going to be non-cooperation movement, because we have just had. So we have to first understand the conditions. Hmm. Now first uh, is of course the impact. Now if you see the the slide in front of you, you can see that I have given uh, a picture of uh, Indian soldiers which are lying in trenches. Not many know that. we not only supplied money materials clothes military but also our army was an integral part of the uh, first world war and uh, you can see if uh, you go to come to delhi and if you see the india gate the names of all the soldiers who died is given in that so first let us understand what was the impact of the first world war on indian economy Mm. Now, if you see, I have I have just given it down to taxes, forced recruitment, crops. What is this? You find that there was a new economic and political situation in India. Mm. It led to increase in defence expenditure, which was financed by war loans, right, and also increasing taxes. Now, for the first time in India, the British introduced taxes. Now. the taxes were fine to an extent but there were there was side by side forced recruitment villagers who had never fought in their lives did not know how to fight they were recruited and sent on the front line now this led to a lot of anger among the people hmm. the people were not happy that why we are being we are being sent to war second customs duties were raised now the prices were also increasing and doubling between 1913 and 1918 hmm. which led to extreme hardship for the common people now what is happening you find that this is also the period that by some some freak of nature the the uh, you know they are dependent on monsoons and you find that the rains did not come on time the result was that crops failed in many parts of india 
and this resulted in acute food shortages so we have taxes on the one hand we have food shortages on the other hand then to top it all there was an influenza epidemic you find that 12 to 13 million people perished because of it now the people hoped that once the first world war was ended it it will lead to improvement in the situation but it did not happen and you find uh, that uh, the the people are increasingly becoming restless now in this circumstances gandhi ji arrives from south africa people had already heard about him about his fight against the british in a foreign country like south africa so you find that the coming of gandhi ji in 1915 started a new phase in the history of national movement but you know he had been away from india for a very long time he did not understand india he had not seen india he did not understand the problems so the result is that you find that on the advice of gokhale you know he started a tour of india in his address you know he was invited uh, when the banaras hindu university the first indigenous university in india was set up Mm. and you know he commented that the national movement uh, did not have the masses and according to him if the masses were not there you find that uh, the, uh, the the national movement could not hope to succeed so you find if you see this is a photograph which i have given once he arrived and you will see successive photographs his appearance is changing he has uh, he changes his turban he does not uh, wear uh, the top uh, kurta once he sees the extreme poverty he realizes that he has no right to to wear uh, full clothes till he can provide it to each and every individual of india so you find that in the banaras hindu university is the first time that he talks about satyagraha and you find that Uh, he is in his address he is talking about the masses being an integral part of satyagraha now the question is what was the idea of satyagraha the idea of satyagraha was mass agitation which emphasizes the power of truth and the need to search for truth so he he said that if you are fighting against injustice there was no need for physical force you without seeking vengeance without being uh, violent one could win the battle through non violence he realized that the vast majority of indians could not hope to find the fight against the might of the british empire the only way was non violence adherence to non violence and you find that um, that uh, before he began the non cooperation movement he tested this idea of satyagraha now there were there were three places where satyagraha was practiced if you see on your screen in 1915 gandhi ji arrives in india 1916 is the first satyagraha champaran satyagraha these are known as his three early experiments Now, Champaran Satyagraha. What was the problem in Bihar? You find that uh, he he is taking up the cause of the common people. He is taking up the cause of the peasants. You find that there the planters they were forced to grow indigo from which dye was made. Now it not only led to poor soil, but also the people did not get the actual uh, actual money which they could have got. if they had cultivated some other crops so in champaran you find that he undertook the satyagraha he was successful emboldened by this you find that the second place was kheraina's home state and you find that here also he is talking about the peasants now if you remember i had uh, i had just mentioned about the crop failure the same thing had happened here there was a crop failure and you find in kheda the people were unable to pay the land revenue on time now the rule was that if you did not pay the land revenue what would happen your lands would be auctioned off so the people of kheda sought gandhi ji's help and you find that gandhi ji went there organized a satyagraha he he was able to 
not only a time for payment of the revenue but also the pay, the revenue was reduced the third which he took up was in 1918 now this was the uh, this was the end the bad mill strike and you find uh, that there you find that there was uh, uh, there was seat mangal das who uh, who you know who sat with uh, gandhi ji now if you can see on the top left i am talking about uh, this anshan which he is sitting on this is sheikh mangaldas with gandhi ji and you find that during this time strike of the textile industry workers you find that the industrialists are also joining in what is happening why because during the first world war the british allowed a lot of indian industrialists to set up their factories they realized that if we if we have our own nationalist government we will be able to uh, do business and they were expecting that once the first world war came to an end there will again be restrictions on us so you find that in the end of admiral strike even the industrialists are sitting with him this was also successful and you find that the that the workers who were demanding Uh, the uh, right to bonus and uh, better wages that was brought about now important thing is that uh, this also came to be known as battle of justice and you find that the seeds of the mazdoor mahajan sangh were also sown during this now due to this political activity against the british uh you know the british got very unsettled because india was a very important colony for the british and you find that india was not only supplying raw materials clothes for the first world war india was also supplying soldiers so they did not want any disruption they wanted that you know india should be a peaceful state so that they could take whatever they wanted to take from there now let us see this photograph now i have clubbed together uh, this uh, causes of the non cooperation movement mm -hmm. uh, the first was of course the dalit act the second jallianwala bag and the third is the khilafat movement and you find all these three uh, gandhi ji gave the reason as to the starting of the non cooperation movement now the question is what was the dalit act Now the Dalit Act was passed against the will of Indian members. This act gave the British the power to imprison anyone without trial. Now, if you see the habeas corpus, the which we have enshrined in our constitution, it says that within 24 hours, any pris any prisoner has to be produced before a first class magistrate. Hmm. But because there was so much political unrest in India. you find that uh, gandhi uh, the uh, the british uh, were afraid hmm. they wanted to repress political activities hmm. unhone socha jisko bhi unko lagega unko jail mein dalenge 2 saal ke liye and this will deter isse kya hoga people will be scared yes. people will not join the national movement right but that did not happen Mm. you find that gandhi ji organized a nation wide hartal on the 6th april and the entire nation was closed the rallies were organized in various cities workers went on a strike and there were also strikes in railway workshops and all the shops closed down now the british administration they got scared उनको लगा कि अगर रेलवे और टेलीग्राफ डिस्ट्रक्ट हो जाएगा तो फिर देन हैपन देयर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विल नॉट वर्क देयर कम्युनिकेशन सेटअप वाज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर टेकिंग ऑफ द मटेरियल्स एंड सप्लाइंग इन वॉर एफर्ट सो यू फाइंड दैट दे डिसाइडेड टू टीच द इंडियंस अ लेसन 
what was that lesson this was the janiawala bag massacre mm. now i wish i could show you the the you know the picture which showed a narrow passage unfortunately it does not come under uh, free resource mm -hmm. so what i have done is i have uh, given um, you know this these two photographs of jallianwala bag mm -hmm. and if you see the square marks in white these are yes. the bullets marks of the people who died in this bag now this was uh, a very non violent meeting because the british had started picking up local leaders the people had gathered there and there were women and children so there was no there was no uh, there was no way that they could this could turn violent so you find that uh, the uh, the people were you know they had gathered together not only to celebrate the festival of baisakhi yes. but to protest against the arrest of their two leaders local mm -hmm. leaders mm -hmm. and uh, you find uh, that it was um uh, enclosed place and uh, the people who had gathered there they were not aware of the martial law which was imposed um, by general dyer because general mm -hmm. dyer took command on the 10th april 1919 yes now the uh, the people were were just uh, you know just uh, celebrating and they were just talking and you find that dyer entered the area he blocked the exit points he did not give any warning no warning was given mm -hmm. and he started open fire on the crowd thousands and thousands of people were killed and in fact uh, if you see there is a well in the uh, in the jallianwala park in order to escape bullets people started jumping uh, in the well and they died and it is it is disheartening to see that uh, that uh, that a country can behave like this to the colonial country mm -hmm. now general dyer openly announced that uh, this was just to produce a moral effect wo chahta tha ki satyagrahi ke dimag mein itna terror itna dehshat dal de Mm -hmm. that the people don't try to revolt so first roll attack i have explained roll satyagraha but because it led to violence kandhi ji immediately stopped it he did not want any kind of opportunity given to the british to uh, to you know uh, make sure that uh, there is complete non violence mm. so now we come to the third issue that is the khilafat movement mm. Okay, just one second. Okay, I think I will have to start again. No, no, sorry. Uh, I will just share my screen again because I just went uh, ahead. Okay, now what was this Khilafat movement, and what is its importance? Now let me just show you the picture of Ali Brothers. Now, if you see on your right. you know this is the um this is the um yeah if you see on your right this is the picture of the ali brothers now indian muslims were very angry with the treatment given to the caliph after the first world war and a khilafat committee was formed in bombay in march 1919 now mohammad ali and shaukat ali these are the you know and uh, the uh, gandhi ji included the khilafat issue and then he decided that you know we will include the khilafat issue and start the non cooperation movement and you find that the young generation of muslim leaders they started talking about the possibility of a united mass action on the issue the result was the non cooperation movement now what was the non cooperation movement gandhi ji declared this is the program and it it had to be in three stages now gandhi ji declared that the british rule could be established continue kar raha tha kaise continue kar raha tha kyunki the indian public are 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 helping the british they are there in the army administration everywhere right so he said that the british rule can end only if the indians refuse to cooperate 
and that is why he proposed that non cooperation movement should happen in stages now the first stage was surrender of parties he said this is a foreign government oh. we will not accept their titles second thing he said was that boycott of civil services army police courts and legislative councils even schools and colleges and the last was the foreign goods now this was very important because india was a colony of foreign goods we sent the as a nation we consumed a lot of british goods so he said that if the government used repression he will start the civil disobedience campaign and you find that gandhi ji toured extensively and he started he started uh, talking about the people boycotting thousands and thousands of uh, students in schools and colleges they stopped going to schools and colleges unfortunately there was uh, there was no uh, alternative uh, institution that was a problem but before we continue let us see the effects of the non cooperation movement on the economic front because why because gandhi ji saying firm goods boycott karo general he encouraged people to come out and uh, and participate in huge bonfires and you find that liquor cloth it was burnt this led to foreign cloth imports drop and you find that merchants and traders they refuse to finance the foreign trade kyunki local people ne bola ki agar koi trader isme trade karega to uska bhi bahishkar hoga the result is that the people discarded imported clothes and this led to the production of indian textile mills which was a problem which was a problem now let us see the effects of the movement on different classes okay now let us see uh, let us see the effects of uh, the the movement in uh, in the cities you find uh, that um, the middle class they participated in large numbers you find that council elections were boycotted in most provinces except in madras where the justice party you know this was a party of non brahmins and they said well we will we will go and we will we will be joining the uh, council elections for power now we uh, come to the to the reasons for slow down in the cities now if you see khadi was more expensive and common people did not have the money to buy the expensive handmade cloth second i had mentioned earlier that the schools and colleges were all government british government schools and colleges there was no alternative institutions for the indians there was just one banaras hindu university so you find that this led to a slow down in the cities but let us see what is happening uh, what is happening in the uh, in the rest of the places like for example the peasants what are they doing now before i begin please see this map on this map i have marked the important centers for the non cooperation movement i have marked amritsar which was the scene of the jallianwala bagh champaran the first satyagraha khera the three early experiments madras i have included because of the um, the justice party which was there and the last is of course the chauri chauri hmm. now let us see what was the meaning of swaraj for the peasants of avant Okay. Now, Ms. Anjali, in Avan, I, I, Ms. Anjali, the peasants like were led by Baba Ramchandra. He was a sannyasi who worked as an indentured laborer in Fiji. Even today, you can see a large number of population who were sent out from India, and they were just deported to these uh, these places where the British ruled, and they wanted the labor. So the peasants, the peasants are not only. Uh, protesting against the british but their movement is against the talukas and the landlords why because they are uh, demanding high rents and a variety of other things from the peasants the most important being begar now what is begar peasants were forced to work on the farm of the landlords without any payment so you find that they did not get any money for this unpaid labor 
And you find that in June 1920, Jawaharlal Nehru went to the villages in Abad and he tried to understand ki akhir what were the problems of the peasants. And you find that he set up the Abad Kisan Sabha. When the non-cooperation began in 1900, uh, 1920, the next year, 1919, the Abad Kisan Sabha was set up you find that the effort of the Congress was to integrate this Avad peasant struggle in a wider struggle. Mm -hmm. However, Anjali ji, we have hardly one and a half minutes for you. In such a way that the Congress leadership was very unhappy. As the movement spread in 1921, the houses of Talukdars and merchants were attacked, bazaars were looted, and Hoarded grains were taken over. In many places, local leaders invoked Gandhiji's name and they said that we are going to stop paying the revenue. Anjali ji, can you hear me? Uh, why can't I hear you? I cannot hear you. Hello, can you hear me now? Uh, no, I can't hear you. Okay, I think uh, some uh, technical issues are there. Uh, but I, I would like to remind you that we have hardly one minute for because, you. Uh, this is very, very important uh, yes, for uh, understanding that not only the peasants, session. but also the tribals were involved in the movement. Shall I just uh, quickly finish the tribals? Please, please. We have hardly one minute for you. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot, um, I cannot hear. There is some Anjali ji, uh, connection Anjali lost. Ji, I think Anjali ji, you can't hear your voice. There is some technical issue. There is some technical issue. We have to stop our session here. Our air time is over. We have to stop this session here. I will say thank you. And we will keep the other things that are in the next session. Now, our session is over. You have been in social science. It is a very important chapter. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you हमारा ये सोशल साइंस का सेशन यही समाप्त होता है क्लास टेंथ का आप कहीं मत जाइएगा थोड़ी ही देर में हाजिर होते हैं अगला सेशन लेकर देखते रहिए पीएमई विद्या चैनल से नमस्कार